Have you ever walked by a statue on campus and wondered what it was, why it's there, and where it came from? Reporter Jessica Rasmussen set out to find the history behind some of BYU's most famous and sometimes least recognized figures. We walk by them every day, and yet many of us don't know the rich heritage behind the statues on campus. But Todd Hollingshead and Tyler Wernley are two exceptions. They let me in on some of the history and secrets of these famous figures. First up on our statue tour, the iconic cougar. The first thing everyone needs to know about the cougar is that it's one of the icons as far as the statues on campus. It was placed here just outside the stadium in 1974. And that was right before actually a game uh, between BYU and Utah State University. The sculptor of, uh, for this statue is a man by the name of Avard Fairbanks, who's done a number of different uh, sculptors on campus, actually. Next, we stopped at probably the biggest name at BYU. He was sculpted by Mahan Rai Young, his grandson. Um, they never knew each other because Mahan Rai was born the same year that Brigham Young died. and so. Um, Mahan Rai sculpted Brigham Young based off of memories, recollections, paintings, what people were able to tell them about him. And so they say that it's one of the most accurate renditions of, of Brigham Young. And so I think that's really neat. Then we were on to Massasoit, who is the tallest figure on campus and represents cultural acceptance. I know that he was instrumental in the Pilgrim survival. And so one thing that they say that Massasoit is, is a symbol of being open-minded and respectful, loving to people of different races, different religions, different cultures, just as he was to the pilgrims. A local Utah County artist sculpted this piece, which is called The First Child. I think if we were to focus on our education, only thinking about how it's going to help us, like personally, individually, I don't think it would be as meaningful, but if we have reminders like this, that you know someday we're gonna have families and that our education is gonna be doing something for our family, then maybe that's another good explanation. Give you some motivation to study when you don't feel like doing your chemistry homework. One of the most mysterious sculptures on campus is the Costa Rican stone ball. After a little research, I found out it came from Paul R. Chessman, who was a religious professor at BYU and who had a strong interest in pre-Columbian archaeology. One thing I do know about this is that it was sculpted or carved to look like that. It's not obviously just some it wasn't found like that. And with so many statues on campus, everyone has their favorite. I really love the Mazer statue because of the way it looks pictured with the building. It looks so beautiful. Yeah, it's a Massasoit or Carl Mazer. Luckily for Todd and Tyler, we finished off our statue tour with their favorite figure. In the devotional assembly in 1955, Brian S. Hinckley said, I hope to live to see the day when a heroic statue in bronze of my beloved teacher and friend, Carl G. Mazur, is erected on this campus. And so, as the story goes, this was the realization of that, that hope. So the next time you're on campus, go and visit your favorite statue to remember what it stands for and why it's here. Jessica Rasmussen, BYU Weekly.